This is the 85th day in the Hamas-Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from the depths of the Gaza Strip. The UN Watch organization published a new report revealing how UNRWA teachers in Gaza brainwash Palestinian children with the ideology of Hamas and promote terrorism and anti-Semitism. UNRWA is an organization created by the United Nations to deal only with Palestinian refugees and operates in all areas of life in Gaza. UNRWA is appointed by the United States of America, Germany, Great Britain, and the European Union. The report reveals that UNRWA teachers and other staff members who praised the Hamas massacre on the 7th of October on their social media accounts are hired to teach children inside Gaza. But this is the tip of the iceberg. It now turns out that some of the abductees who returned from captivity said that they were hidden in the homes of UNRWA agency workers. The IDF and Israel have accumulated evidence that UNRWA has been transferring some of its aid directly to Hamas since the beginning of this war. Yes, the humanitarian aid that entered the Gaza Strip for the sake of helping the poor Palestinian citizens was taken and used to help terrorists of Hamas. Even in the Hamas tunnel project, the IDF finds hard evidence of involvement of UNRWA officials. Israel is raising the level in its attempts to deal with this UN agency and to push it out of the strip. The purpose of this aid organization is good, but the forces of evil manage to do a lot of bad with it. We are here to stop this. The terror state that is created by Hamas will be erased and organizations like UNRWA that disguise themselves as human rights organizations and serve as a financial channel for terrorist groups under the auspices of the UN should be erased as well. In the last few weeks, the Yalam unit with other special forces of the IDF searched one of Yechia Sinwar's hiding apartments. The apartment is located near Gaza City in the north of the Gaza Strip and many artifacts were found inside it. After investigating these artifacts, it was found that the apartment is used as a hiding place for the head of the military wing of Hamas in the Gaza Strip, Yechia Sinwar. The soldiers at the place who understood the importance of the apartment began to scan it with an advanced technological radar. The fighters discovered that the strategic shaft was located on the basement floor. When they explored that shaft and reached a significant tunnel, it was clear that the tunnel had recently been used by senior members of the military and political wing of Hamas. The apartment is part of a long and branching network of tunnels in which senior members of the terrorist organization moved and operated. The shaft that was located led to a tunnel that is 218 meters long and about 20 meters deep in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. In the tunnel were found electrical networks, ventilations and sewer infrastructure in addition to prayer and restrooms. And it was built so that it is possible to stay in it and conduct combat from it for a long period of time. IDF infantry units, including the Kfir Brigade, are operating in the area of Khan Yunus and during recent days have eliminated terrorist squads in the western area of Khan Yunus with the help of artillery, the Air Force and armored units. The forces eliminated hundreds of terrorists so far 
and with intelligence guidance, the fighters raided dozens of houses of operatives of the terrorist organization Hamas inside Khan Yunus. In the houses, the forces discovered ready-to-use charges and found rigged buildings rigged with explosives. In addition, many weapons and tunnel shafts were located in the area. One thing that the terrorists tried to do was dress a doll with an olive green uniform that looks like an IDF soldier in an attempt by Hamas terrorists to apparently carry out a fraudulent operation and harm the forces by drawing them into an ambush. The fighters who checked the area with thermal devices realized that it was a doll and identified the terrorists while hiding in the ambush. At the same time, a special IDF force raided the apartments of senior Hamas officials. From the raids, the IDF's combat team identified weapons inside a children's room in a house. Some of the weapons were hidden inside a child's bag. Grenades, vests, weapons, cartilages, and intelligence materials were found together with additional ammunition. In addition, a laboratory preparing explosive devices was also located behind a kindergarten. In the area of Karbat Akhza, in the south of the Gaza Strip, the place from where terrorists of the terror organization Hamas conducted the attack on Nir Oz on October 7th. Nir Oz is the Israeli community on the border with Gaza Strip. A combat team number five started fighting yesterday alongside armor and engineering forces, and the forces are working to gain an operational hold in the area. The engineering forces of the combat team initially concentrated on destroying terrorist infrastructure located in the homes of the terrorists who participated in the murderous massacre carried out by the terror organization Hamas in Kibbutz Nir Oz on the 7th of October. And so far, the forces have eliminated terrorists and attacked a number of significant terror targets, including tunnel shafts, a tunnel route, and anti-tank launching positions. During the forces activity in the area, dozens of tunnel shafts were located. In addition, the forces located many weapons, including AK-47s, pistols, grenades, mines, and rocket launchers. On Israel's front in Judea and Samaria, the security forces of the Shin Bet and the border police units went on a night operation yesterday. And during the night, the forces arrested 12 wanted persons throughout Judea and Samaria. Two of them are senior members of the terrorist organization Hamas and active terrorists in Judea and Samaria. During the operation in Kfar Kapin, the fighters arrested a wanted man and located weapons which they confiscated and destroyed on the spot. In an operation in the village of Dir Abu Mashal, IDF fighters arrested three wanted men and interrogated dozens more, which led to the arrest of a terror squad with explosive devices who were planning a major attack in Jerusalem. Thank God that this attack was avoided. On Israel's northern front, on the border with Lebanon, in the last few hours, fighter jets of the Israeli Air Force attacked terror targets of the terror organization Hezbollah that is affiliated with Iran. In the area of Wadi Hamul, among the targets that were attacked were launch positions, a military compound, and other terror infrastructure. In addition, Adia forces attacked an anti-tank squad of the terror organization Hezbollah in the Itatron area and a launcher that fired towards the Baram area in Israel earlier today. Before that, the Syrian radio station Sham FM reported that after Hezbollah launched two rockets to the north of the Golan Heights, Israel attacked the area of the village of Hadel 
in the Syrian part of Mount Hermon. I wanted to salute another Israeli hero that died in the battle against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Captain Harel Sharvit, 33 years of age, a fighting officer who fell in the battle in the northern part of Gaza against Hamas. 85 days have passed, and we are still fighting. When I started this war, my youngest son was four months old, and now he's almost eight months. Half of his life, I'm here in the army. But I know very well why I am fighting and how important it is to keep going until we destroy Hamas and return the security back to Israel's border. We do this for the children's future, for our future, and for our right to live here in the state of Israel in peace. But we need your help. We need your help in sharing the truth of what is happening and the reason for why we are fighting with the rest of the world. Because the enemy is spreading lies and telling the world things that are just not true. Israel is defending itself against a terror organization. So we need your help in prayer and in sharing the truth. So please join us in praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Your prayers are highly appreciated. I can tell this personally, and I'm also sharing that you, millions of people around the world, are praying every day for the soldiers of the IDF in Gaza, in the northern part of Israel, in the West Bank, and on all of the borders of Israel. So keep praying and have a great week.